Hey guys, and this is a quick tutorial on how to get better at Gorilla Tag. And just before that, I am nearly at 1,000 subscribers. And get me there, and I should do something special. So yeah, let's get into it. So, if you're planning on running fast, the best thing, well, best thing, for starters, they say, run like this. Do not run like that, you'll be the slowest in the lobby all the time and you'll always be getting tagged. So what you need to do, right, for your first run you just need to master this and then you'll be quick, quick, quicker from the very start. So what you need to do is hit with your hand like that. Okay, hit with your hand like that. And then with your left hand, or whichever hand is usually a not dominant or which one you can move the fastest, which hand you can move the fastest, use that one. So basically what you want to do, what you want to do is hit with this one, spin with that one. Then you'll move a lot faster. I'm doing it slowly because my controller keeps disconnecting, but I can do it a hell of a lot faster. But you see what I'm doing? I hit and then it spins like that, and I'm just hitting. And that will be a lot better. Do it on your dominant hand side. So your dominant hand side, this is where it will go. And you spin your hand. Yeah, this is my fast dump one. Now you hit and spin your hand. And then if you already can do that, and you want to get better, here is the really, really fast way that I always do. So what you need to do is swing your arm on a windmill, and then hit like that with your, with the same hand that you used to tap before, hit like that and this one windmill. Essentially, this gives you more movement because you're stretching your arm all the way out. So, there it is. If, if my controller doesn't disconnect. I'll do it slowly, look. This hand hits, windmill, with this hand. Oh look, I'm already going faster than the other one and I'm going nowhere near as fast as I usually do. So yeah, that's how you run fast. So, for branching, it all comes down to getting used to basic things. Like, a lot of people are really sceptical to stretch your arms out because they're afraid to hit things. You're going to have to get over that and you will sometimes hit things. But yeah, so what you got to do, you always got to reach and then if you hit the branch, don't like, have a quick rest, bounce on it. What you need to do is hit straight away then fling yourself up to the next branch then do it again or if you just uh, like do this like oh, oh, I just made it on, I just made it on and then you're going to fail because you're trying to rest there it's really hard to, you can't just do this walk across the branch and then do this what you got to do is you go hing, ping, well, I'll say hit so you go boom hit there, hit there, hit there, it's a one hit thing on the longer branches where, let's say, you land here, you hit again here, 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 then, with my particular route, you fling yourself up and swing your arm over to get to the top. So, here is the simple way of getting on that platform. So you go boom, 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 then you fling yourself up here, then get here. Now here's like the medium way. So what you do is you go boom, 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 then boom, and then you get up here. And now here's the pro way. So what you got to do is hit here, under, then hit here, here, swing your arm around, hit here, 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 then like swing your arm around. And this is it in full motion. So I'm running, I'm running. Yeah, that's it in its full motion. But that's only if you're getting pretty good at branching. And as well, scaling big tree usually doesn't matter because what you can do is you can get up this wall and then just climb the branches. No one really tries to scale big tree. This is really important, but if you want to know, it's like any other tree. But it's just a hell of a lot bigger and harder to scale up. But yeah, that's one of the parts that people always say in public lobbies always say every single time teach me how to wall run how do i wall climb blah 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 this is how we're wall running honestly not really that useful anymore it used to be but anyways you just need to pull like diagonally with your hand at an angle like that and then twist it a bit so you go boom 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 then you can do it with your left hand 
and then for wall climbing you just go like this turn hit basically you're pulling diagonally again pull 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 that's how you do that and then to do lucio what you do is you go like that in ovals then you do the same thing but you hit like that with this hand so you go Yeah, like that. And then, with like, verticaling, um, what you do is you just do the same thing, but without this hand. You usually start off with this hand. But then, you keep going up the wall. And usually for verticaling, to be classed as verticaling, you have to stay on these two walls usually. But personally, I like to go on these two walls as well. Because it just gives you a bit more freedom than you can duke them by pushing off then doing other tricks and then duking this one duke do not do this it doesn't make you look good and everybody will not like you in the public lobbies and yeah do not do this uh jumping like a flipping frog over people duke it, it works but it looks really goofy and don't do the weird hand signs thing no one will like you and it's just really annoying to turn around when you've just done this goofy R duke that a three year old could do. But you're just hitting the floor and then acting like you're really, really good at the game. So yeah, some of the best dukes in my opinion is the wall one. So you Lucio a bit. I like you're going to go up the wall, go a bit more forward. They're hit down straight away. They're going to think you're still going up there. Then you can run away. One of the other dukes is you just hit off another branch like that. And don't, again, don't do the hand signs. It's not funny. It's just kind of annoying. And then one of my other favourite dukes is literally just like the pole thing, but round a tree. You need longerish arms to do this, but basically, you swing yourself around the tree and it, well, it works. Then what you gotta do for another duke is you just kind of like go around the floor, then immediately stop. This will trick them, then you like circle them. Again, don't do that weird duke, it doesn't work and it's really bad. And then, another duke that you could kind of do is this one, which I've used before and it's kind of funny. So, what you do is you go like that, they'll jump over you, you hit back and go. And yeah, that's mo mostly it. So, yeah, that's it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe because I'm nearly at 1,000 subscribers. And yeah, that's it from me. Bye.